A couple of days ago, my pal Dave Sturrell publishes a video where he's putting his new uh, four channel Pico scope through his paces. Interesting video, go check it out. And near the end of the video, on the trace that he has on screen from the scope, there's a kind of a mystery current pulse that he wonders what it is. So much so that it actually spawns a second video. This one here, mystery current search solved, where he goes hunting for what's the source of this current pulse? What is this? Well, this is a pretty significant current pulse. It's a lot of current. I'll show you in the clip. And it actually generated yet another question in my mind, and that's what this video is actually all about. So to put this video in context, let's just see a brief clip from part one and two, what Dave's actually talking about. Where the, uh, the inrush is occurring, and then we'll have this uh, massive spike, which goes up to 124 amps right there. And it lasts for 26 milliseconds. 126 amps for 26 milliseconds. You can see he's got his cursors up here. That's the key part. 100, let's call it 125 amps for 25 milliseconds. Let's make the math easy, right? Bastardizing these figures a wee bit, but 125 for 25 milliseconds. In the second part uh, of the video series, part two, if you will, where he's kind of localized what circuit is actually drawing the current. I'm not gonna give the plot line away. I'm not gonna be a spoiler here. Go check it out for yourself. But what's of interest here is the size of fuse he's dealing with. So it's a, a maxi fuse on that. So uh, of uh... Maxi fuse, 40 amp. Dealing with current surge of, as you say, 125 amps. Now let's assume that Let's, let's be generous here. Let's make the math simple. Let's assume that 25 amps of that was from the fuel pump, other ancillaries that were running in the car when he had the key turned, and only 100 amps, <laughs> only 100 amps was from the circuit of interest, right? So 100 amps of current on a 40 amp fuse. How's that compute? Let's find out. So, the answer to how does a 40 amp <clears throat> automotive fuse carry that kind of current? All the answers are actually in the data sheet for the fuses themselves. This is uh, from Little Fuse. They publish the uh, specifications on their uh, fuses. This is for the Maxi Fuse type fuse. I hope you can see that there, guys. And they give you all the different ratings, the different types. They manufacture a couple of different types. I don't know that Dave's car actually has Little Fuses as far as the manufacturer of the fuses is concerned. But it will be very similar to this data if it's one of the other manufacturers. So these are thermal fuses. That is to say that when they carry current, they're gonna generate heat. And when the they element, the actual, actual fusible element, which is inside itself, actually reaches a certain temperature, synonymous with the amount of current it's carrying, is going to actually thermally break and of course open circuit to protect the, the circuit. That's the whole point to the fuse, of course, everybody knows that, right? So the ambient temperature that the uh, fuse is actually operating in, not the outside air temperature, but the ambient temperature, i.e. the temperature of the, the fuse itself within the fuse box, is going to affect the operation. But more so, how long the, uh, the fuse is subjected to what level of current, right? People think of fuses, they think of 40 amp fuse, as soon as it exceeds the 40 amps, it'll pop. That's not the case, right? And you can see it graphically, literally, in this graph here. So we have a time current characteristic curve. So I've got the 40 amp maxi fuse actually highlighted here. So again, I hope you can see these details clearly, guys. So here's our current in amperes, and here's our time. So Dave's fuse was carrying 100 amps. If you actually go all the way up on the graph, I think this is, keep in mind, this is zero, and this is 1,000 amps, guys, okay? This is a, uh, what's the word for it? Um, 
exponential, no, uh, logarithmic, uh, I think is the correct term, logarithmic scale here. It's not a linear scale, right? So you can see here the orange curve is applicable to the 40 amp fuse. <clears throat> I've got it up here. That's the 40 amp line and it goes over. That's the line that I've traced down, highlighted in orange. There's an orange fuse, if you recall. So it was carrying about 100 amps. If you follow that line actually up until it intersects with the time, the published figures say that that fuse could carry 100 amps for in and around 10 seconds is where it actually intersects, maybe a wee bit less, maybe eight seconds or so. That's how Dave's 40 amp fuse is well capable of carrying that 100 amps of current that that particular circuit is actually drawing without blowing the fuse. So I hope that makes some sense, guys. This just flushes out a wee bit of detail that um, I was actually kind of wondering about. That seems like a lot of current. I wondered how that, that fuse could sustain that. Well capable of sustaining that. Well within specification, according to the published data. I hope that makes some sense, guys. Huge thump. Cheers.